appreciate it. And our next story here, it's really a bit of a talker that is happening right now, not only in the business circles, but really online and social media as well. You might have heard of it. It is a uh, Arizona company that is uh, making uh, a, a unique stance right now on trying uh, to uh, really showcase uh, their talent by also keeping them as well. And they want to make sure that they have the right talent in place, so much so that they're offering an incentive that uh, if you've been hired within the last two weeks at the company, right now they're offering you $5,000 to quit to get a little bit more about uh, all of this let's go right now to the ceo joining us from trainual this is chris ronzio thank you so much for joining us here on live now from fox and, and explaining all this hey mike thank you for having me so chris first of all uh tell us a little bit about the company and tell us uh why you uh wanted to take this approach yeah, so the company Trainual is like a training manual. It's a business software where companies document all their policies and procedures, train their new hires, and then keep them up to speed as the company grows. All right, so so with this five thousand a dollar incentive, how'd you guys come up with it? Why did and I, I uh, I'm seeing that it's it didn't start at five thousand. No, it started at 2,500 and we've been doing this since May of 2020. So the story is we had an engineer, a developer start and five days into his job, he told us, you know, I think this isn't the right fit. It's not the right role. And I had other offers. So I'd rather go back and take those offers. And we said, okay, perfect. No hard feelings. But then I started thinking how many other people get to that point in training and then just don't say something. And so we thought rather than have people leave three months in, six months in, when we've invested a lot in them, let's accelerate this and let's give everyone that chance to double opt in and say, yes, this is the company, this is the role that I want, so much so that I'll refuse the money. So it started at 2,500 and we recently updated it to 5,000 because so far no one's taken the offer. And no one's bit yet. So you're using it almost as a, as a psychological tool, tool to say to the employers, hey, uh, the employees, hey, if you didn't take it at $5,000, it looks like you want to stay on and, and work, work with us and have a, a, a long-term relationship with us. Yeah, so it's an employee's market right now. There's so much opportunity out there that they really have their pick of the litter when it comes to companies. And so by offering them this $5,000, it's almost a salary replacement for a few weeks so that they can say, you know, this isn't the right fit, but rather than stay here and look for my next job, let me just take the money and walk and find somewhere that I really should be. All right, so now that no one has bit yet, are, are you planning to increase it or just uh, keep it there at that 5,000 level? So we had it at 2,500 for just over a year before we increased it. So we'll keep it at 5,000 for a bit and we may raise the price again. Uh, but for us, it's just setting the bar a little higher and higher. Imagine if you turned down a $20,000 offer or 50,000, I feel like that would be such a testament to a culture that's just a great place to work. So uh, we could increase it again. We'll have to let you know. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Chris, I got to ask you, are you worried, though, that now that it's out there that uh, people know about this, are you worried that uh, some people may just apply hoping that they get the job and then uh, two weeks later have a, a fast $5,000? Are you worried about that at all? Well, uh, if my Instagram direct messages are any indication, I think we're going to get a lot of those applicants. You know, people are sending me their Venmo handles and saying, can we just skip the application and, and send me the money? But, you know, our hiring team is just top notch, first class. And we have a really thorough process for interviewing people and extending offers. So the hope is that if we're extending an offer, we believe it's really the right person. And this is just a chance for them to confirm that they want to be here, too. Absolutely there. So uh, tell us uh, just a little bit about the exposure that you have been getting just uh, from this. Uh, are you getting uh, different types of web hits that you haven't uh, seen uh, lately like this? <laughs> it's pretty wild. You know, Trainual as a platform is across the world. We have customers in 183 countries, but I haven't yet had people across the world sending me articles in different languages. So it's funny how just a policy like this that we've had for almost two years can just catch fire. But I think it's really an indicator of the market that we're in and, and how competitive it is to get great people. 
And can you uh, explain a little bit more about the market that we are in here? You mentioned earlier about that this is uh, definitely a uh, place and time for uh, the person that is uh, looking for the, a job. It's really their market. And, and, you know, we're even hearing some reports that uh, in other companies, it's so hard to get people to come on board. They'll, 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 they're almost getting ghosted and uh, they'll, they'll make an offer to them and you won't hear from them anymore. Yeah, people are getting... 10, 15 offers and in and, and the same way that it was hard for employers years ago to give everyone the one-on-one -on -one attention when they weren't making an offer. Now it's hard for employees when they're getting all these offers to communicate back to every opportunity. So the tides have just turned a little bit, but I think it's a really great market. It's great for companies that are having turnover issues to really take a hard look at why, what they need to improve about their business, their wages, their culture. And then it's a great opportunity for people that are in the workforce to say, is this really the job that I'm happy in? Is this what I want? It's a positive pressure on everyone. And, you know, it's it's uncomfortable while it's shaking out, but I think it'll result in people being in better jobs, the jobs that they really want. And it'll result in companies having this pressure to just build better cultures. That's so fascinating too. And uh, I'm thinking while, while you're speaking to me, Chris, have you been approached maybe by TED Talks? I mean, this this seems like it would be right up their alley for something to talk about. <laughs> you know, we'll have to reach out. I think it's a great idea and definitely timely. So I appreciate the, uh, the, the idea there. And uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add, uh, especially during this market? I mean, it, it just must be at this time, uh, you just don't know if the people at the, at, the, at the given time when you're interviewing, if they're going to stick around for the whole process, right? Yeah, I mean, I've heard companies say that, you know, they have people accept a job and don't even show up for their first day. You know, so as companies, we have to be really intentional about what that onboarding experience is like, because employees get a sense of what the company is like while they're interviewing, while they're going through that process. But until they walk in the door or turn on their camera and start full time at the company, they don't really know all the people and what the insides are like. And so I think it's it's a, a good forcing function for companies to take a hard look at, are we giving people a great experience as they get started here? And, you know, that's, that's what our product does. So we better walk the walk and, and have a great experience for the people we're training. All right, there we go. Chris Franzio, CEO of Train You All, breaking it all down for us there in this really unique uh, approach, uh, really maybe the future of uh, how this is all being done with uh, adding people onto your workforce. We appreciate it, Chris. Thanks so much uh, for talking with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. No problem. And we'll continue to always bring you the top stories and headlines from across the country right here on Live Now from Fox. We're going to take a quick two-minute break. My